You don't have to be a rocket scientist or really any kind of scientist at all to predict that Kelly Monaco will spend less time standing on the unemployment line than it takes to sit through a commercial break. If General Hospital goes through with its plan to kill her off as Sam McCall, over fans' strenuous objections, the actress is sure to have her pick of roles. One, however, is so obvious that the contracts should already be getting drawn up. Clearly, Monaco should join the young and the restless as a new love interest for Jason Thompson's Billy Abbott. We already know that the former General Hospital co-stars have chemistry to burn, thanks to the storyline that found Sam falling for and getting engaged to Thompson's Dr. Patrick Drake. And Billy is in dire need of a kick in the pants. As one fan put it on X, I have really not been feeling Billy. But with Kelly Monaco, I think that would click. I hope they snap her up quick. Another viewer went so far as to suggest the character she could play, Audra's half-sister. Seems to us like a no-brainer. On one hand, young and restless would add to its enviable cast an MVP from a rival soap. And on the other, it would be handed a golden opportunity to reboot Billy. We can imagine the scene now in which he meets Monaco's character. Kylie, let's call her. Just after he's been tossed out of Chancellor by Victor. If you're just gonna cry in your beer, the beautiful stranger tells Billy, can I have it? I hate to see a cold one go to waste. I'm not crying in my beer, he protests. I'm... He is caught off guard by the sight of Kelly. She's the drop-dead kind of gorgeous. I'm, um, I'm sulking at my beer. Oh, good, the newcomer cracks. That's way more dignified. Kylie orders a beer for herself and tells Billy that yes, he can join her, and no, he didn't have to ask. If there's one thing worse than drinking alone, it's sulking alone. So what happened? Wait, wait, don't tell me. Kylie looks Billy up and down. Long face, fancy suit. I'm guessing. Somebody stole your paper route. She's making fun of him, but he can't help but be charmed. There's no meanness to her quips, only mischief. How did you know? That's exactly what happened, he tells her. And it was a really big paper route. I was really good at it too. Were you? She asks casually. I? Billy starts to say. And then, staring at Kelly's lovely face, he does something that he rarely has before speaking. He thinks. She notices the pause and has to ask what it's all about. I was going to just say yes, I was really good at my, well, my paper route. But then I realized how often I say that, and how often other people don't. And it got me wondering whether I wasn't the hotshot that I thought I was. Barkinder, we're gonna need another round, Kylie calls out. Probably several. She turns back to Billy and asks what made him so sure he was all that and a bag of chips. I, I'll be damned. I don't know, he admits. It never occurred to me that I wasn't. That there was even the possibility in my mind that I could not be. Wow, Kylie laughs. You sound delightful. Maybe you are one, she jokes. Billy takes her seriously, though, and agrees that maybe he is. Or he has been. He doesn't need to be, though. Hell, there's no reason in the world for him to be such an entitled, self-righteous, arrogant jerk. Starting here. Starting now, smug, intolerable me is dead and buried, he declares. In his place stands, sits, Kylie interrupts. What? You're sitting, she points out. He laughs it off as a technicality and continues. In place of the old me sits a kinder, gentler, humbler me. Taylor Swift post drives 405 plus visitors to voter information site. I'll drink to that. Kylie says, clinking mugs with Billy. So will I, he replies, since you're buying. I mean, you could buy a round too, Kylie notes. I did just give you best psychiatric help. You can get this side of Lucy in a Peanuts cartoon.